gentlemen, welcome to the Man of War Priesthood. One, I'm going to tell you this before we even get started. You will not be addressed as gentlemen from here on in. You will be addressed as warriors. Why? Because you are here to forge yourself into a fucking warrior. And guess what? It's going to be nasty. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be difficult and challenging. And you're going to have to overcome obstacles. But you are here for that. You are here for the forging process. Look next to you. Look around you. These men are walking the path with you. With these men, you're going to be able to break through. You're going to be able to face your fears. You're going to be able to push yourself beyond these self-imposed limits. And more importantly, you're going to rise. It's not about being stronger than the other guy. It's about being the fucking strongest man you could ever be. You're a fucking warrior. Step up, achieve it, and get there. My brothers, the enemy is right here in front of you. Look at yourself in the mirror. That's how you go against every single day. Yes, yes, yes. Sometimes you gotta think outside the box. Sometimes you gotta stretch left when you're moving right. Make sure that you have your head on your shoulders that's swiveling around 360 degrees all day long. Be aware, snap out of it. Dr. Craig Manning is a sports psychologist and human performance engineer. He once did a study on what made people successful. They identified several characteristics. Among those were mental stability, character, moral character, and determination. What they found is that determination was 75% of success in anybody's. The problem with that study is it never taught you how to get determination. Through the Man of War experience, I have finally learned the processes to help me be determined in any of my goals. It's been a long experience, but it's been something that has transformed my life for the better. Um, my name is Sean Bergen, Group One, um, and I have to say that this uh, event was challenging in the extreme. 
Uh, this is a comprehensive program addressing body, mind, and spirit. Uh, you're not just down here to do a bunch of push-ups and get fit. The goal here is to have you leaving a much better person where you're operating on such a high level that you go back into the, into the world and you dominate um, in all aspects of your life, uh, in the business world, in your community, with your family. You leave here a better man, a better husband, a better businessman, and um, I really can't say enough about this. This was easily, hands down, one of the most incredible experiences of my life, and I would recommend it to anybody who has the guts and the internal fortitude to really dedicate themselves to doing the necessary work to make themselves a much better person. Hi, everyone. I am Augusto Mantilla. I am originally from Colombia, and I am so glad of being here taking this training has been the amazing training and thanks to instructor Rafael Conde who allowed me to be part of this wonderful group I am being the best human of of myself the best the best version of myself I really look like to live under the principle of today being better than yesterday and tomorrow being better than today and this is something that I have been learned here thanks to Instructor Conde. Thank you so much. Fear is at the heart of all failure. Fear is the most important aspect that we need to overcome as warriors. Why? Because we are defined by our courage. Hurry up! What is this gap? Hurry up! What is this gap? Hurry up! Bravo team here. When I count to three, you will submerge your head. Oh, on your feet! operating from that warrior's domain and executing, dominating life. You gotta be here in the crucible. There will be times where you feel you are broken down. There will be times where you want to quit. There will be times where you're going to question, was it all worth it to be here? All that will be answered in the end.
forging your warrior spirit is the most powerful, the deepest thing you could ever do in your entire life. While I may be talking about the darkness, overcoming challenges and obstacles, I want you to take a breath and enjoy yourselves. And be proud of yourselves that you're even here. Like I said, less than 2% of our population of men would have the balls to be standing where you're standing right now. Most men live behind their ranks and their credentials and they fail to live for today. As warriors, we know that life is never guaranteed. Our focus is the here, the now. And this is why you will arise a warrior, my brothers. You will step up into the warrior's domain and you will dominate all facets of your life. Is based on the Spartans, the Samurai, the Knights Templar, their way of life, their strategies, their philosophies, their physicality, their mentality. This is what people need to understand. We are bringing the old world mentality, the old world physicality, the old world philosophy and implementing it into this world right here, right now for your success in life. yourself this question do you love your family then why are you fucking breaking them down Don't listen to him, Daryl! Don't listen to him, Daryl! Oh, 
shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Arise, a warrior, my brothers. You have been to hell and back, and I honor you. Welcome to the Men of War Society. personal growth through teamwork. Uh, it, it is not easy and if you think you're just going to pay some money and walk through this then you, you need not even sign up. But it, it is well worth it. My name is Sean Bergen and I am Man of War 112. And my experience here uh, is that this is not an organization for the faint of heart. Um, if you think that you're going to just pay some money to gain admittance to some mastermind where you know, you think that uh, you're going to benefit from other, that's not what this is about. This is about making a contribution. It's about becoming a better businessman, by first becoming a better man. Um, so, you know, you come here with uh, the courage to put forward a commitment, a real commitment, um, so that when you leave here, you're a much better person than you were when you first arrived. 